Consumer Reports is peeling back the mystery of the chemicals in your produce. The magazine is out this morning with a study looking at pesticides in 48 fruits and vegetables. It finds that 17 contain high or very high levels of pesticides. Ravashi Rangan is the Director of Safety and Sustainability at Consumer Reports. Ravashi, good morning Good morning. Uh, so 85% of people are concerned about pesticide exposure in food. Are they risky? Well, you know, well, the first message we want to give is you've got to eat your fruits and vegetables. It's the right thing to do no matter what choice you make. That said, we did this study because pesticides are risky. They're designed to be toxic. 700 million pounds of pesticides are used every year in farming. Mm -hmm. And that's uh, got consequences for consumers for the people who produce our food, for the environment, for those who pollinate our food, and we think that that needs to be reduced over time. But did we need a study to tell us that pesticides are risky? Haven't we known that for a very long time? We have known that for a really long time, Gail, but you know, we wanted to do these studies so that we could help consumers prioritize which ones were the most risky right oh, now okay, so they could make some better choices. Also give the government a roadmap on which pesticides they should focus on. There's been a lot of progress made in the last 10 years since we last published on this in 1999, but there's still more work that needs so to be done. So which are? So which vegetables and fruits do you want to buy? We say organically, the ones you should always choose because they're always low risk when it comes to organic tangerines, uh, strawberries. Um, those are just some examples of the fruits that you want to buy organically. When it comes to vegetables, green beans, sweet potatoes, bell peppers, those are all choices that we think organic makes the best choices. And costs more money, but also you said a lot more money, expensive at times. Yeah, I was yeah. going to say money well spent, you say. That's right. A lot more expensive at times. Now, the good news is that they're for personal personal residue risk, there's lots of low-risk conventional options um, from certain countries, and we've identified those as well. So lettuce, broccoli, those are all good choices, scallions, avocados. Um, and when it comes to fruit, raspberries, blueberries, bananas, those are all things that when it comes to personal residue risk, they're lower. But remember, just because they're low residue doesn't mean that farmers weren't exposed to that either. And when we look at health risks from pesticides, those studies are primarily documented in the people who produce their food and their children. So is the government regulating the amount of pesticides that are used? The government does regulate the amount of pesticides that are used, and no one residue exceeded any kind of legal tolerance. But the government doesn't look at the complex mixtures of pesticides. And from a toxicity endpoint, some people can have up to 29 residues, according to the CDC, in their body. And we know when people shift to organic diets, even just make better organic choices, you can drastically reduce that. That matters a lot, especially for kids who are still growing and get more exposure pound per pound. And is washing the best thing to do? Washing is that always a, a great idea to yeah, do. Even if it. you're peeling, you want to wash that peel before you peel it because really? there can be residues on the outside of it. If you're zesting, again, think about organic. If I'm zesting, I don't even know what that means. You zest Zesting. the peel. The sprinkle, yeah. Oh, okay. It's for extra concentrated flavor of the lemon or the yeah. orange. Peel. Okay. Must be, do you know what zesting is? Sort of. <laughs> yeah, I guess it has to do with cooking or it's something. It's a micrograding, and you take the peel of a citrus and you literally peel it oh, on the okay. grater and you okay. use that. Okay. You bring extra that zest to my morning. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Rabashi. Thank you so much.